Give us a for Eddie Steeples, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie! He's a Hollywood legend, guys. Eddie Steeples. I grew up watching him. Seriously. You guys, you guys know who Eddie is? My name is Earl, guys. My name is Earl. Eddie Steeples, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Come on. You guys have fucking cable out here? Guys, next time I come up, uh, guys, give it up for the one and only Cody, ladies and gentlemen. Cody!
think we're moving along, we're moving along. Cause we got my favorite and probably yours too. We got the nature boy, Rick Flair. Woo! Woo! Thank you. Woo! And we got the nature boy, he's a jet riding, limousine riding, high flying bad guy, son of a gun! Woo! Woo! Thank you, keep it up, yeah, keep it up. But the problem is the man is old as dirt. That's right, he's old as dirt. He come to the ring, he struck to the ring, wearing his suit. They play his song for like 10 minutes while he gets down there. And he'd make his way down there to cut promos. He'd go and say all kinds of crazy stuff to women that had their husbands right there. He'd be like, leave your man when the nature boy is in town. Space Mountain, longest line, fastest ride. Woo! But, it, but nobody wanted to wrestle the nature boy Ric Flair because he was so old. You give him one clothesline, and the man would turn to dust like Pfft. You would just turn to dust right in the ring. Pfft. You ever drink, been poor enough to drink powdered milk? Anybody? That's what Nature Boy would look like if he gave a clothesline. Just powdered milk Pfft. all over the ring. So he would get in the ring, okay? No one would wrestle him, and he would just cut promos all day long. Limousine riding, jet flying, son of a gun, woo! The be the man, you got to be the man, woo! And then he would take off his blazer. I don't have a blazer, so I'm gonna take off my hat. He would throw his blazer on the stage just like that. He threw the blazer. I hope there's not more creams in there. And then he would wrestle his blazer to be the man. You got to beat the man. Hey! Woo! To be the man. And then he'd get up, like his old ass wasn't out of breath, and just hurt himself. <laughs> I've been Cody Bowles imitating Zach Jackson. The late, the late great Zach Jackson. Pastor, professional wrestler, lover of Muppets. Good guy, loving husband to Randy Jackson. Uh, wait for me on the top rope up there, big guy. We deliver an elbow drop. Aquafina, terrible water. But it's one minute, Ryan, please. I just, I just did three elbow drops. I, I'm not a professional wrestler. I'm not out of breath, but I really hurt myself. <laughs> terrible, terrible water, but this is all Zach drink. He sat there every time and supported every single comic that went up here. Even my terrible ass. And uh, the reason the man drank is because he had kidney stones. That's right. Zach had kidney stones. Yes, I'm doing my Zach impersonation still because I'm talking about it. He had kidney stones, and his father had kidney stones. And you see, Zach had a kidney stone pass, actually, and it hurt like the dickens. And he had a kidney stone pass, and I think that's what gave him the inspiration for the Seven Sons of Siva story. Have you heard the Seven Sons of Siva? No, you haven't. Where for one man beat seven men. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six. And seven men. He beat them until they were bloody and naked. One man beat seven men until they were bloody and naked. That's what a kidney stone felt like, Pastor. So he went to his father, his father, who's also a pastor, and he asked his father, Dad, I, I, I passed the kidney stone. I don't want that to happen again. How do you do? You've had kidney stones your whole life. Now I don't know what Zach's father sounds like, but I imagine you sound like this. Well, son, listen up here. If you don't want to have a kidney stone, you pray on it, but you also drink Aquafina water. I've been drinking Aquafina water my whole life, and never had a stone pass. So you do that, you'll be all right. So he drank Aquafina ever since, never had a problem. That's why I'm drinking here tonight to toast the end with this uh, whole routine. Thank you for the extra minute, Ryan. Thank you all for the viewers. Guys, good for Cody, ladies and gentlemen. Cody, no, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. That, that, so Cody, that's touching. That what you did was actually really cool. Um, 
you regretted something that we cannot regret. So that's awesome. Uh, guys, next comment coming up. Give it up.